we're going to Brooklyn though, so <laughs> you gotta also think about those other things, man. Toes and you know, shit like that. We are on our way home, man. We are on our last trip for being leased on with this company. It's been a great experience. I'm glad I chose the route of leasing on. And now we're getting ready to transition into our own authority. So we got halfway loaded. And as I'm walking around, I find a nail in the tire. So probably kind of loud. I'm gonna pull it out. I got my jack out, getting ready to swap it out. But I don't think it's leaking air, man. I'm about to check. Well, I just rigged up some soap water and about to pull it out. And definitely, we, you know, we're losing air. So we are changing her out. So here we go, man. Change the tire out, the wheel out. It ain't looking pretty with the white, but it is what it is, man. Thanks to my man right here, being patient. He allowed me to lift it up prior to uh, get me loaded when I seen the nails, so he, uh, I appreciate him. We've been chopping it up. He was like, hey man, you on YouTube? He said, oh shit, I've been watching you, man. I watched the video of yours. You can probably come in a little bit more if you want. Right there. Tab a bit more. Right. That looks good. Yeah. Is it possible the front part can come like come in a little bit? All right. There we go. Oh, back just a little bit. All right. That looks good. Perfect, man. All right. I got to start getting secured. So that's what we about to do. All right, guys. Here go the full load. Full truck load. Hey, thanks to my man CJ, right? Appreciate you, man. No problem. Patience and helping out. All right. All right, y'all. We about to get this thing strapped down and we got to get moving because it's late. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Probably run two straps over it. We'll figure it out. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the video, man. If you guys are new, my name is Tim. I go by Hot Shot Mac. I'm actually just doing this run that's going over into Brooklyn, New York. Y'all seen where I picked it up? Uh, right now I'm on my reset. I'm out out here. We got the load here, sitting. We're in New Jersey. Just uh, on this reset, man. I'm resting, bro, I'm tired. Yo, what's up, y'all? So we're getting ready to take off from our reset, man, and jump over to Brooklyn. Been trying to map out my uh, my route and see what's the best way. It looks like I'm gonna probably take the Verrazano Bridge over. Probably no point in me going all the way up to the GW, the George Washington Bridge, and then coming back down since I'm going to uh, Brooklyn. Anyways, we're gonna see how it's gonna go, man. Um, finish up my, finishing up my pre-trip, and uh, we should be on the road soon. Just trying to figure out how I'm gonna get out of this parking lot. We got a trailer behind us. And kind of a tight lot, so I'll probably end up just busting the UE right here, man. There's really no space for me to go up here and really do anything, so that's what we're doing, y'all. Stay tuned.
Shout to our drop. It's madness out here, bro. About to try to figure out how they gonna get this off or where they gonna do it at. Yes, sir. Down New York. The unloaded process has started, y'all. Traffic down here waiting. Dude, like yo, bro, you still ain't find nothing. <laughs> yeah, dog. I mean, shit, he's saying he ain't seeing nothing for me right now, so. Yeah, like coming out of New York, that's the only thing I hate about coming home. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, was, it, was it tight? Was it tight there? Man, we just got out of there, y'all, and boy, I tell you that 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 New York, Brooklyn. It ain't fun at all, man. I don't think I'm gonna go back up in there like that, bro. Not going to Brooklyn, not going inside over to the islands. I'm good. You know, it's too, too, too chance, too much traffic, man. We got unloaded, man, and we get out of there safely. We're heading over to a truck stop right now. We don't have a load, so I'm gonna go post up until I get another load and, you know, keep it moving from there. But yeah, man, that was, uh, that was a little hectic, man. Roads are tight, turns are tight. Nobody cares, you know, everybody just, nobody letting you in, cutting you off, man. It's just, it's a madhouse over there. It's mad crazy over there. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, we're out here in Mannheim picking up a vehicle, man. It's our first load for the week, unfortunately. Yesterday, we kind of sat all day. We didn't get a load. Picking up a vehicle out here, and then we're going to go pick up a partial that's about 10 minutes away, not even. And then we're heading down to Georgia. Hey, y'all, what is good, man? I think I forgot to tell y'all, man, this is my last week on the road being a leased on owner operator, y'all. This is my last run with the company that I've been with. Shout out to them, man. Without them, I wouldn't be here. After this week, man, we're getting back home and we're going to get everything, you know, changed over as far as the transition to run under our own authority. So anyways, man, we, we're here. We made a quick stop at a uh, rest area just to check the load. Everything looks good. I don't think I showed you guys what the load was after I got loaded because, you know, everything happened so fast. But I used three straps. All right, y'all, so we just got unloaded. There goes our lumber. They were saying, like, they, they were expecting it to be tart, but... I told him, man, that wasn't on my paperwork, so you know what I'm saying. I showed everything, but I'm gonna move the uh, I'm about to move the vehicle right now, so that we get better uh, distribute the weight a little better. Don't really want to leave this on here, man, because this is a this is a cause issues flying off on the road and hitting cars, and that's, you know you got to claim. That's why when you see those flatbeds and stuff, right, you know they got a broom in the back clean the debris. But yeah, let's move this uh, vehicle real quick. So we just arrived to this neighborhood, man. We're about to deliver this Lexus and uh, we'll be done with this trip. Getting ready to pull out the ramps, get this thing off and get it in their driveway and be out of here, man. Top of the morning guys so man i am here sitting at a truck stop after the load yesterday we didn't get anything to pick up dropped off around uh i want to say midday can't fully remember after that we didn't have a load man we're here just south of atlanta we still haven't gotten anything man loads aren't looking too good seven thousand pounds going from atlanta to arizona uh 85 cents 
Man, it's, it's crazy. So we're sitting around waiting, man. I was able to get some stuff done here at the truck stop. I washed some clothes. I washed my bed sheets and pretty much um, did some cleaning up. I'm probably going to make me a little shake, a smoothie for the first time. We'll see what happens, man. I'm going to keep you all updated. Hey, you just made me a green smoothie with some apples and some celery. Y'all, I'm trying to do better, man. This is, uh, this is a clean out right here. I don't got no uh, kale or spinach or anything to put in there right now. But um, it's a start, man. I'm going to try to pull this thing out more often. What I need is a strainer. So I'm going to be drinking this thing real thick. God damn. I'm about to put it in the uh, cooler and then let it chill out for a little bit. Just got a load. We are picking up right here in Georgia. And then we're hitting right there in Ohio. Uh, it's 8,000 pounds. Paying uh, 1800 bucks on 700 miles. Let's go. Yo, what's good, y'all? So, we're about 20 minutes from the truck stop where we were at, man. We're about to pick up a crate. We're waiting for them to bring the crate over. We got a tarp it, y'all know. Y'all see the weather. I swear it better not be something that's been sitting outside either, man. Y'all, so here go the load, man. <laughs> I could have swore I was getting something else, something longer, something heavier. It's supposed to be 8,000 pounds. But what it is, it's just a bunch of fabric that's on the inside. And uh, it's about maybe probably under 5,000 pounds, man. Maybe even 3,000. It's over $2 a mile. They need it there first thing in the morning, so we may not have time to pick up something else. We're going to throw the tarp on it, and uh, then we'll keep it moving. Oh, That's what it man pulling out this long tarp for this short load. This morning we are eating some Denny's, y'all. Pretty much done. About to get back on the road. Wee! All right, y'all. So we just got to the drop, man. We're about to untarp and get unloaded, and then we're gonna go pick up our next uh, load that's taking us home. Hey, good morning, you guys. What's going on, man? We are on our way home. We're on our last uh, trip, like I've been telling you guys, for the week, for being leased on with this company that I've been with for the last seven months. Man, I tell you, it's been it's been good. It's been a great experience. I'm glad I chose the route of leasing on, and now we're getting ready to transition into our own authority. Currently, we are somewhere here in Kentucky, about to hit Nashville, Tennessee. Like I said, make our way down to Houston. We picked up a load up in uh, Canton, Ohio, I believe. It's paying 3,100 bucks on 1,500 miles, so it's just over two dollars a mile. Weighs 4,200 pounds, and we'll be dropping this off on Monday. So this is our weekend run, man. I tell you, I've been on the road for about four months, man, and I think that is my limit, yo. I'm ready to be off of the road, like. I've had enough, you know, sleeping in the back of the truck. Y'all know I do my resets uh, in hotels, so. But yeah, I'm ready to get off the road. Um, got a few things, I got a lot of things to take care of when we get back home, so. I'll be, you know, vlogging and keeping you guys updated and pretty much getting set up to run under our own authority, man. So we're going into the winter time. We're going in with a, a fresh MC, so you guys will be able to come along and see how it is, see the struggles. We're a little bit over a month uh, aged on our authority, but like I said, we're still gonna push it, man, and do our best, and like I said, we'll show you guys all the struggles so let me show y'all the load two uh i'm not sure pumps of some sort i threw uh two chains on each and then i just threw a strap over the top just for the hell of it man so y'all can see here 2100 pounds let me show you guys how i placed it you know just so i don't have too much weight on my drives put most of my weight over the axles and uh we've been riding good man it's got no bounce no nothing so been a smooth ride and we got about maybe just uh, a little bit over 12 hours to get to Houston and then we're taking this close to Corpus Christi. We'll be there sometime on Monday and then we'll be driving back to Houston. We might get a load going back, not too sure. As y'all see, man, I was sitting down a little bit, a couple days, we didn't, we didn't find a load, didn't want to take anything cheap, but this actually brought us up to uh, just under 7,000 uh, for the week. Yeah, it's been good. So anyway, stay tuned, y'all. I'm about to get back on the road, finish up this pre-trip and get moving, man. So I'm gonna see y'all in the 
few. We're out here in Oakland, uh, Tennessee, man. And this right here is what's hurting me, man. I am nine hours and six minutes away from my drop yard where I'll be dropping my trailer and I'll do my reset in Houston, but my ELD says otherwise. I got the time on my shift, but I don't have the drive time, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, we have made it to pilot, man, but oh, I need to go off duty. Oh no, I need to put fuel and then go off duty and PC to where I'm staying for the weekend. Yo, what is good, man? Yo, we are in Texas, man, and bro, I'm about probably like an hour and a half to two hours away from the house, but I ran out of hours, as y'all see, man. My cycle is almost there, and my drive time is up, man, so I'm doing my 34-hour reset here. Like I said, it's a bummer, man. You know, I could probably just PC to the crib, PC back, but that's just too much driving. So anyways, I'm shutting down, man. I'm at a hotel. We'll be dropping off this load on Monday morning. We'll be heading out, so about to go check into this hotel and call it a night, man. So I'm gonna see y'all. Top of the morning, y'all. It was about, uh, about to be 6 a.m. Getting out of this hotel, man. It's Monday, about to go drop this load off. Down in South Texas near Corpus Christi, like I've been telling you guys, man. It's two hours away from home, so you know, uh, wifey did come up, man. She drove two hours to come be with me for the weekend. Simple, man, we just missed each other. She'll drive back uh, a little bit later on. I'm getting ready to head down so I can get ahead, get this load dropped off, and man, call it a day, call it a week, call it a month. Yeah, we just got here. To the drop location and not sure where to go so they're sending someone out come get me and we'll be offloading the last load man being as a, a leased on owner operator bro man it's crazy feeling man yeah we out here man it's windy as hell but for some reason this binder here don't want to loosen up man it's, it won't crank back so we about to rig it up and push it over So man, that is it, man. The last run has been completed. Last run being leased on, uh, at least on owner operator. We just dropped the trailer here at my storage yard. So we're getting ready to wrap this video up, man. I'm tired, man. It's been a long month. Just want to say, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate all the support. I know I keep saying this. Thank you, thank you guys for like just, you know what I'm saying, supporting me and, and being down with me. Uh, from day one. So with that being said, man, we're gonna end this video right here If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We got a lot in our uh, store for the channel, man A lot of new things coming so stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already do at hotshot underscore Mac And we will see you guys back on the road under our authority in the next video. So peace